in the welterweight division at UFC 290. You got Jack De La Maddalena coming in 14-2, taking on newcomer. A guy that just fought just a few weeks ago, uh, Josiah Harrell. Comes in at a perfect 7-0 and and was also undefeated as an amateur. So he's on a 13-fight win streak overall. Now, Maddalena is a beast. He's four inches taller at 5'11". He's 26, Harrell 24. Maddalena 73-inch reach. Harrell 67 inches. So Maddalena's got a 6-inch reach advantage. He's also a switch stance fighter who lands 8.3 significant strikes per minute. Uh, takedown average is non-existent. He does have a 71% takedown defense. Now we'll hold off on Harold for one moment and continue with Jack De La Maddalena. Uh, this guy has been undefeated in the UFC going 4-0, 1-0 in the contender series. Since entering the UFC, uh, he beat Pete Rodriguez by KO, then moved on to Ramazan Amiv, beat him by KO, then Danny Roberts, KO, all in the first round, then Randy Brown, Submission, first round. The guy has been unbelievable um, in UFC competition. Four straight wins, all in the first round. Now, this is not a bad matchup uh, bringing in Harold because the guy, again, is 7-0. and He finishes people too, right? In LFA, he's got uh, the one KO from a back mount, which is impressive. But when he stepped up in competition, he struggled a little bit. The fight went into the third round. He got the victory. But overall, uh, he's got four wins by KO, four wins by submission. Okay, he can finish his opponents too. But here's the problem. Jack De La Maddalena is just on a different level. I mean, when you come into the UFC and win four straight fights by first round finish, you know, Josiah Harrell better be better than we think he is. And you really never know. Because he's beating who's put in front of him. But it's just hard to believe he can come in here and compete with Jack De La Maddalena. If he just gets in, you know, if I'm Josiah Harrell, I'm doing anything I can just to get to the second round. Even if I lose. You know, and you got two options. You can come in just swinging, you know, a lot like, uh, gosh, I forget who that was. It wasn't Yaquin Buckley, but another fighter that came in. Terrence, I can't remember the last name right this second, but Terrence came in and beat a UFC fighter in seven seconds, and then he ended up becoming a, a, a legitimate fighter in the UFC. So there's that option to come in and look for a quick finish, but risk getting finished, or hey, just get to the second round and be the first guy that took Madalena to the second round, and likely you're going to get another UFC fight. But I just don't see... Josiah Harrell winning this fight. It's hard to imagine. Jack De La Maddalena, I believe, will get another first round finish to move to 15 and 2, likely by KO. Also, Harrell is fighting up. He's normally a lightweight fighter. He's moving to welterweight. And that's to help him so he doesn't have to do another weight cut, so it's just perfect. But Maddalena will cruise in this one. Welterweight division, UFC 290.